Here we are in step number two of the Havana twist hairstyle. In this step, I will show you in detail, step by step, how to achieve Havana twist on your hair by doing the invisible roots method. So first, before you begin twisting your hair, you are going to take your comb and section a part of your real hair for your twist. Then you are going to take your extension hair and prepare it for your Havana twist style. And then lastly, I will show you how to do Havana twist with the invisible roots method. Before you begin twisting your hair for your Havana twist, you want to make sure you part a pretty big amount of hair on your head. So with your comb, you are going to be using the tail end of your comb to part a square section of your hair. The reason why you want to make sure to exaggerate the size you are going to do is because Havana twists by nature are pretty big twists. But also, it's up to your preference, so if you want the look of a smaller Havana twist, just part a smaller size. So now I'm just going to take the tail end of my comb, and this is a rat tail comb, and then I'm going to part a square here on the right side of my head. So now that you've parted your section that you're going to be working on, you want to take some duckbill clips and clip it onto your hair in the surrounding areas to keep your hair sectioned. So now that your hair is sectioned, you're going to take your water spray bottle, mist your hair just a little bit, and then you can add a little bit of gel onto the ends as you detangle. So now that your hair has been detangled and sectioned, I will show you how to prepare your Havana twist hair for your Havana twist. In my hand here, I have a package of Marley twisting or Marley braiding hair. You could also use Havana hair as well. They're very similar, almost identical, but for this Havana twist look, we will be using this Marley twisting hair. And for this specific part, I want to show you how to prepare your hair for your twist. Now, when doing your twist with the size that I have on my head, it's perfect to use eight individual pieces of the Marley extension. So when you open up your package of Marley hair, it's already pre-sectioned. There's individual twists or locks of hair that are already separated within itself. So what you want to do is grab eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're gonna use this for your twist. Now the way to make sure that the ends taper off just a little bit to give you that natural look, we are going to stagger each individual twist as we're preparing the hair. So as you can see, the ends look pretty even. There's a few that are a little bit shorter than the others, but they're pretty even. So first, what you wanna do is make them all even before you begin. So I'm gonna pull each lock and I'm gonna make all the ends even. The reason why you want to do this first is so you could purposefully make sure that the ends are staggering in the way that you would like. So now here we are, all the ends are perfectly equal. If you were to do your Havana twist with the length that it is at each bottom of the lock, then your ends will look really blunt or it will taper off really quickly and look unnatural. So what you wanna do is now take one twist and put it in your other hand, just like that. So when you grab your second twist, what you want to do is adjust the hand that has more of the locks a little bit downward so that it's longer than your other hand. So when I put this twist back up to it, you can see that this twist in my right hand is a little bit shorter than the rest of the twist or locks in my other hand. So now that we have two different lengths, you're gonna grab one from this hand and move it directly over. And as you can see, the two pieces are staggered. So now to continue to stagger our pieces, you're gonna grab this hand of hair and adjust it down just a little bit, just so it's a little longer than the other hand. And then you're gonna grab a lock and shift it right to your other hand. So now we have three pieces and they're all starting to stagger. So you're just gonna do the same thing until all eight pieces are transferred to your next hand. So now here we have our eight twists. The ends aren't so even and they are starting to stagger. 
So if you do want to adjust just a little bit more to make them extreme, you can. You just want to eyeball which ones need to be a little longer or shorter, and you could pull one just a little bit down to your liking. So now once your hair has been set, we are going to begin twisting by achieving that invisible roots method for the Havana twist. So now that your extension hair has been prepared, we are going to begin to do the invisible roots method for the Havana twist hairstyle. So with your section of hair that you already have, you're going to divide it into two parts. The way that I'm going to section this hair is I'm going to take my comb and I'm going to part my hair directly this way, a straight line across. You could also even separate it with your hands, or you could even separate it and form two triangles. That's the way you want to part your hair to really help you achieve that invisible roots look. So now I'm just going to reach my table and I'm going to grab my comb, and I'm going to take the end of my comb, and I'm going to use that to part my section of hair. So now that I have two sections here, I'm going to focus on one section at a time. So I'm going to start with this bottom section and we're going to twist this section of hair with our extensions and then we're going to twist the section upward. So now I'm just going to take my hair from my lap and I'm going to locate the middle of this section of hair that I have, which is right here. So putting both of my hands around the hair, I have this middle area here and I'm going to place the back of this extension hair right against my scalp. So I'm just going to place it just like that, firmly against my scalp. Now what you want to do is focus on the bottom end. So you're going to take this extension hair and just toss it right over your head so that way it doesn't get tangled. Now you're going to take your left hand and you're going to leave it flat against that extension hair so it doesn't move. And then you're going to take this hair in your right hand and grab your real hair as well and you are going to twist your section of hair. So the way that I'm going to twist this hair is I'm going to twist it counterclockwise. So you have to work with both of your hands and continue to twist all the way down to the bottom, making sure that you can reach near the bottom of your hair. So that's about as far as I'm going to twist it down and then you're going to twist your other section and you have to twist in the same direction. This section was twisted counterclockwise, and so will this section twist counterclockwise. So you're going to release the hair from over your head, and you're going to grab your real hair and put your extension hair on top of it as well, and you're also going to twist that counterclockwise. So this could be a little bit tricky if you are not used to doing this method, but you have to work with both of your hands to help you twist your hair. So now at this moment, what you want to do is take that second section you twisted and put it over the first section. And you're going to continue to twist counterclockwise. Make sure that the hair doesn't buckle and that your real hair doesn't stick out of the twist. So you're going to twist that again a little bit counterclockwise and wrap it around. The gel is really helpful at this point with your hair because as you reach the, near the ends of your hair, it's very helpful to put gel on your ends so that your hair doesn't stick out of the twist. But my hair has blended perfectly, so all I gotta do is just continue twisting each section counterclockwise and then switching hands and then twisting that section counterclockwise. Switch hands twist this section counterclockwise, switch hands, twist clockwise. So if you're very easy with doing this method, you could probably go pretty fast. But to make sure you have a consistent look down your twist, take your time. You don't want to rush this process because the twists need to look very, very neat.
Because we tapered the ends of our extension locks for the Marley Twist hair, sometimes you may begin to notice that one end may look a little bit longer than the other and they may not end at the same time. So if that's ever a problem, all you have to do is borrow some hair. So as we can see here, it, all the ends look like they could pretty much go consistently. So we'll just continue twisting to the bottom. Because you are using Marley Twisting Hair, you will notice that the hair itself has some texture to it. Number one, that's because the nature of this hair is kinky. And number two, it's because we didn't divide the locks any further. So you will notice that there is some texture going on, some added texture from the extension hair, as well as your hair as well. So once you've twisted all the way up to the bottom until you can't go any further, you're going to just barely snip the very ends of this twist and you're also going to bring your scissors up and snip any additional pieces that may be sticking out of your Havana twist. So I'm going to go to the table and grab my scissors. I'm going to come back to my twist and you're just going to barely snip that little bitty end. Then you're just going to go up the twist and you're going to snip any extra pieces of hair that are sticking out especially this section here. Sometimes this may be a problem for you or it just may occasionally stick out because you've staggered the lengths of your extension hair. So you're just gonna grab your scissors and you're gonna cut that part. Just like that, very easy and simple. And then just skim all the way up your individual twist and just cut off any pieces as necessary. So that is how you do the Invisible Ruth method for your Havana Twist. So now for the second one, I'm going to show you a little bit more of a fast tempo how you're going to do your twist. You're going to make sure to do the Invisible Ruth method as you are twisting your way down. Now that I have already shown you how to twist your first Havana Twist, I will show you a second time again, but I'm going to go a little bit faster. So I have already sectioned my hair, detangled my hair and divided my hair into two equal parts. So now I'm going to take my extensions that I have here, and I have already staggered the lengths and prepared them for this second twist. So now you're gonna locate the middle of your extension, and you're gonna have both hands on the hair. Then you're gonna place that middle area right against your scalp. So I'm gonna go up, and I'm gonna move this top piece of hair out of the way to expose my scalp, and I'm going to place the extensions right on that area. So now take the hair you have up top and just throw it right over your head to keep it out of the way so that it doesn't get tangled as you are twisting. Use your hand to lay the hair flat and gather your real hair and your extension hair all together and twist that hair counterclockwise. So you will be twisting this hair inward toward your face. So I like to twist maybe about five to 10 times and I like to go almost to the ends of my hair, just enough so that I have enough hair to overlap each other as I'm forming the twist. So now you're gonna grab the top piece and you're gonna grab all of your real hair and your section and you're going to twist that hair counterclockwise as well. So now after you have twisted down probably about five to 10 times, you're going to take the top piece, put it over that bottom piece that you started with, switch hands, and twist counterclockwise still about three to four times down. You're gonna switch hands again, take that top piece here, put it over the bottom piece, and continue to twist. about two to three times, or three to four times. Take the top piece, switch hands by putting it over the bottom piece, and then twist just a little bit.
make sure that as you are twisting the twist itself isn't forming buckles or tightening up as you go down you want it very smooth and consistent twist as you are twisting your hair also if you notice once again that if any of your real hair is sticking out you're going to go back just a little bit apply a little bit of gel to the ends of your real hair and then you're going to continue to twist all the way down It's very important that as you twist each section, each section itself, twist counterclockwise. Switch hands, you twist counterclockwise. That will make sure that your twist will not unravel as you are twisting towards the bottom. So once the twist is let go, it will not unravel, it will all stay in place. So now as I'm nearing the ends, I can tell that this side here is a little bit thick and this side here is a little bit thinner. And also, the ends might not equal out the same. So at this point, you want to hold very firmly. Release one hand. Take a twist, transfer it to the other side. Hold that very tightly and continue to twist counterclockwise. Switch hands. Make sure it's gathered very smooth and twist counterclockwise. And now that you're looking at the twist, you could never tell that I had borrowed one of the pieces of hair from the other side for this Havana twist. So now as you're nearing the ends, if you notice that one side looks a little bit longer than the other side, you're just going to pinch a little bit of hair off. You can divide that just a little bit, as you can see there, and then continue twisting really tightly. So now once you've twisted as far down as you can go, you're going to take your scissors and snip the very little wispy end off here at the bottom with your scissors. So I'm going to grab the scissors from my table once again. And I'm going to snip the end. And then you're going to use your scissors and you're just going to skim up alongside the twist where any hairs might stick out. You want to be very careful to make sure you don't actually cut the twist itself. And your second twist has been achieved. And as you can see, the way the twists look, it look as if it's coming from your scalp. In this step of the Havana Twist hairstyle, I showed you how to incorporate the invisible roots method to give you that flawless look to your hair. So before you actually begin twisting your hair, you took your comb and you parted out a section of your real hair that you would be working on. After you detangled and divided it into two equal parts, you then took eight individual pieces of your Marley hair and staggered them in length to give you a very subtle natural tapered look to the ends of your twists. Once you locate the middle area of your extension, you place that directly against your scalp and then you concentrate on the bottom part of your real hair by gathering it with your extension hair and twisting it counterclockwise. Once you've gone down and twisted it about five to 10 times, you take the top section with your area of hair at the top of your head and then you twist it that area counterclockwise as well. Next, you take the top piece, Put it over the bottom piece and continue to twist counterclockwise as you reach the very ends. And that is how you perform your invisible roots method to give you your Havana twist. So now that you understand the technique, you're going to continue to do Havana twist throughout your entire head until your look is complete. In the next step, step number three, I will give you some tips and teach you how to maintain your Havana twist hairstyle.